It is time to expand minds through movies, TV, sports, and flicks. It is time to boldly go where no podcast has gone before. It is time for the Captain Talks Flicks. The Captain, the Captain Talk, Talk Flicks. Welcome to the Captain Talks Flicks Podcast. I'm your host, the Captain Cortez, aka Mr. Love, and this is where we talk flicks. I welcome the podcast, podcast where me, the Captain, talks about movies, TV, sports, flicks, anything. You can see the two bird screen. I like to give my unique perspective because after 47 years of being on planet Earth, I've developed a unique perspective about these movies, TV, sports, and flicks, and I like to get an antibody. Because just maybe, just maybe you care. And according to the stats, it looks like you do care. I want to give a big shout out to Namibia. Got some plays over in Namibia this past week. Gracias, gratitude, todo ba, and Namibia. I heard you guys have absolutely fantastic, great, organic beef. Yeah, very cool. I like beef. Beef is good. So maybe one of these days, I fly down to Namibia and have some of that great organic beef. So thanks for listening. Appreciate God's gratitude. And just said for I, back in the day with school to be a radio DJ, but never got a job. I think I never got a job because I just didn't have the intestinal fortitude. If I just would have had more intestinal fortitude, then maybe that would enable me to become a radio DJ. But it didn't. And it allowed me to become the greatest podcaster in the Matrix. Something to debate might be true, might not be true. But I said it on the internet. So it's got to be true, right? Because everything on the internet is facts, not facts, true, false, propaganda, fake news, the Matrix, water, cerveza, pop, energy drinks, orange juice, lemonade. I don't know. I didn't make the internet. Ask the people that made the internet. So when you're alive, just be aware, just watch out. Anyways, I can ramble you all day, but it won't. Let's get right to the podcast. But first, a word from our sponsor. Ladies and gentlemen, do you like rap? Do you like shaved ice respados? Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you like rap and you like shaved ice respados, recording artist Sun Tzu Cosmic just dropped his latest single, Respados. So if you want to hear a track inspired by shaved ice respados, I will put a link below to the song, Respados. I guarantee you, when you hear this, it's going to be like nothing you ever heard in your life. It is absolutely madness on wax. So if you want to hear the track, I'll put the link below. Now, let's get on the podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, I am back again. And life is beautiful. I told you the last couple episodes, a little bit of triggering, a little bit of monkey mind. But like I said, now it is past. And now it is cool. Now things are good. Now I'm feeling good. Everything is lovely. Now that I wasn't feeling good before. Because I was feeling good before, but the emotions were kicking in, and it felt slightly emotional. But now I'm relaxed. It's just how it goes. It's the nature of life. And if you're a human being, you probably know what I'm talking about. It's just how it is, man. But when you feel those emotions, bro, what moves do you make? When things go down, your mind thinks certain things, and you feel certain ways, what moves will you make? Because guaranteed, when it's easy, we can do it. Everybody can do it. But when it's a little bit more difficult, a little more stressed, a little more hungry, a little more exhausted, a little more whatever, low energy, whatever words you want to use to put in there where the pattern is slightly disrupted, where you're slightly off, right? In that moment of time, what decision will you make? You may have certain routines and rituals and disciplines you do on a regular basis. And they're easy to do when it's easy. Yes, I know this because it's very easy when it's easy. But when things are just a little off, a little not, not slept, you just you want to go to bed, you're, 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 you're up late, and just I want to sleep, I want to rest, I'll lay on the couch, will you continue to do those things? Now, ladies and gentlemen, I've had many a moment where it's like late, and I'm like probably low, low energy, where like I'm feeling like, bro, just tap out. I was like, no, we got to get this thing done. Because if, if you set certain deadlines, certain times you want things accomplished, I mean... We should try to accomplish those things. You know, unless there's some kind of serious emergency or something going down, then uh, yeah. But I mean, if it's just you feeling a little, uh, you just got to push through that. Let's try to do that. Maybe we can, maybe we can't. I don't know. I mean, I think we should. I've been doing it for quite a while. 
Additionally, we'll do that, but also, you know, make sure we get the rest after we do things like that. We may go hard and push ourselves quite a bit, but make sure you get some downtime to relax, rest the body. Very important to you. Rest, relaxation is very important. So anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we're going hard. We had a monkey mind, and now it is time to podcast. And this week, I am going to take us back to the world of espionage, the great game, spy versus spy, cloak and dagger. Because this week, I got to see Special Ops Lioness, the choice of failure. But before I get into that, a couple things. First of all, there will be spoilers. And second of all, I do own some shares in the parent company of Paramount Plus. I just want to be clear and transparent to let you know that. Now that I told you that, let's get into Special Ops Lioness, the choice of failure. So ladies and gentlemen, this episode was tough. It was a great episode, but it, there was some scenes in here, things happening like, uh, it's it's ugly. I mean, it's, I mean, I don't mean it in a negative, but it's just, it's like, it's a it's a part of life. We know it goes down. Things that happen, they occur, they happen in the real world. And it just really sucks when these happen to people. And you know what really happens to people. It's it, These occur, you hear about it all the time. But if you have to experience some of these things, it's just not the best thing to experience. It's not comfortable. And I'll be out sitting in my cushy chair, drinking my drink, eating chips. It was, I was still uncomfortable just seeing that. Knowing that certain human beings go through this. Knowing that certain certain human beings do these things to people, like just just like the last couple that what the uh, last episode episode before with the beating, same thing. Seeing things that we know happen for real in life, and knowing people go through these things, and knowing that happens, and just seeing to pick up the pictures, like man, that is tough. Like damn, bro. Like like so like I'm gonna spoil it right now. Just get this straight spoil spoil is coming right now. But like the scene where the kid got into accidents and she's going to the hospital. And to see how she's acting, going into the hospital, the fear, the anxiety, the, the scare, the pain, like seeing that young lady have to go through all that. Like, I don't have kids. I have a daughter or a son or nothing like that. But just as a, as a compassionate human being, see that lady have to go through that. Like, man, like, that just like, like, oh my gosh, I was feeling that. Like, I felt so bad for her. I was like, man, just wish there was something I could magically snap my fingers or magic wand, just make her all better. Because, like, I mean, I know it's TV and I know it's fake, but these things happen, like, for real, bro. These are real things, right? These things, they happen and they, they suck and it's horrible when these things happen to people. You know, in my personal life, something happened to someone I really love and I had to see it firsthand. I experienced it. You know, it's these things you may see on TV and I lived it. And when it happens to you and you experience it, it absolutely sucks. It's horrible. That it was very painful and emotional. And now even seeing things like that on the screen just touched me like, wow. Like, I just felt so bad. And then if I had a daughter or a son and that happened to them, like, oh, my gosh, bro. Like, man. You know, the, the thing about it is, like, the parent had set up rules to try to prevent this kind of scenario. But, you know, teenagers, I was one. You're one. I'm sure everyone's been one. And, you know, when you're young, you think you're smart. You think you're invincible and you need to do whatever you want. But older people try to set rules now to kind of protect you. And you just don't, you don't really acknowledge it or, or do that because you just think differently, right? And then you see the results of that. And I felt so bad, man. Like, like I just know being a parent must be tough. And going into what I said in the other podcast, I said, you know, when you work in that world of espionage, of cloak and dagger, I theorize that it's probably harder on the families than if you just had a regular occupation. And this, and this is the wife, Joe. And her husband has a tough job as well. He's like a surgeon and he's on call all the time. So they're consumed by their occupation. And when they're consumed by their occupation, there's just there's not as much time to, to, to give to the children to try to steer them and raise them, direct them into a, to a, to a, to a way that's going to mold them to a more empowered, powerful, safer human being, right? Because they're away all the time. And I, to be honest, I experienced that a little bit slightly. Um, when I was younger, there wasn't a lot of uh, guidance. or There was guidance, but not as much as maybe needed to be. So I kind of understand and relate to that. Uh, but yeah, so but that was all very tough to watch. But there was more, dude. Like, like they, they went, they just went, they just look at some of the ugly aspects of being on planet Earth, right? And there's this other scene of the show too, where like our operative crew is out there doing her undercover thing. You know, she's at some bar, someplace, how with her ads, and she's just, you know, she's she's with the the Mark trying to gain trust and just get you know embedded with her and her crew. 
and she's just doing the thing. Just, you know, part of, part of that is just, you know, going out and just doing what they do. They have to go to the bar and they have the party. So that's some bar and the party and she's just trying to get closer or whatever. And in the process of her walking that undercover life, she got some random guy come up to her trying to pick up on her. But this guy is not just some nice guy trying to pick up and be nice. You know, he's a shady dude trying to take advantage. And he actually does go through with it and, and, and does that, right? So this dude's out there and he like he slips like something in their drink and then tries to take advantage of her afterwards. It was almost successful, but he was stopped by Joe Crew, right? And, and, and we know this kind of thing goes on. So let me pause real quick. Lesson alert, lesson alert, lesson alert. Ladies and gentlemen as well, if you're out in the world doing things, going places, going to bars, going to places where they serve drinks, right? Or whatever, you meet random, strange people. Just don't be taking some random drinks with people, bro. You know, make sure you eye looking at it, look at what they do with it. Preferably get a drink that has a cap on it, and you can pop that off yourself, right? If someone just giving you a drink and has no lid on it, you know, just don't take it. Some random person, don't go there, bro. You're better to be cautious and safe. I'm just saying, okay? you, just, you want to be cautious because if you watch this show and you see what happened, you're going to know why you should not be doing that. I'm just saying, just don't do it. I'm not trying to be preachy and all like that. I just want you guys to be safe out there because there's some people out there doing shady stuff, acting shady, and I want you to avoid them shady people, right? The goal of this podcast is to expand minds, to learn, to grow and be better. We On that path, we got to avoid these shady people doing shady crap, bro, because they're trying to steer you from your greatness. Don't let someone deter you from your greatness by giving you some messed up drink. Straight up. Or even even, even just being said, someone to give you some random pill to take some pills. Don't take no pills. Don't take no drinks. Don't do none of that. Just public service now. for me, the captain. I want you to be safe and live life and have a good time and expand your mind and grow. And I feel that if we do that, it's going to get us there. So so watch them shady mofos. And additionally, he tried to pull a fast one on Cruz. He tried to get over on her. But she had some people looking out. And uh, when they got a hold of this guy, Joe, <laughs> Joe went Afghanistan on him, bro. Joe went straight Afghanistan on him, and I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm not going to say no more. Go watch the show, and you're going to see how Joe treated this guy that tried to, you know, take advantage of Cruz. And let me tell you something. It was not pretty. So, yeah, let that be a lesson to you. Try to pull fast ones out there. Uh, ladies and men and all this, or people that, you know, take, take advantage of them. Just, yeah, remember Joe, because that could be you. So anyways, ladies and gentlemen, this was a little dark and gritty, but it has been since the beginning. We're seeing a lot of ugliness of humanity, right? It's something I don't normally take, spend the time looking at because I'm watching a lot of positive, you know, uplifting stuff. But occasionally I do dive into that world to see it because a lot of times navigating that world of espionage, wilderness, and mirrors, you will see the darker, ugly sides of life. And it's not pretty and it does suck. And there's a lot of people out there doing that work that are walking in those worlds to make us safer and better, like I've been saying the last couple podcasts. So ladies and gentlemen, fantastic show, great show, I'm loving it. And if there was a lesson to be learned from this episode, a couple lessons is when older people are trying to drop wisdom, jewels, and knowledge on you, because they've walked the path, they've, they've made the mistakes, they've, they've learned the lessons, like, you know, take notice, listen, be aware. As a 47-year-old dude, and even back, every time I heard older people talk to me, I listened and took in the information and said, okay, let me listen to this, let me hear this, because these guys have been here longer. And let me so, so my, if I can if I can move through life without making a mistake that they made and they can teach me, I'm all about that. So you may be younger, 20 some, 18 some, 30s, whatever. You may think us old people don't know what we're talking about. And you know what? Some of us don't. <laughs> to be fair. But a lot of us do. And when we pass on this with these words to you, we're not passing to try to be you know a stuffy, controlling old person, like, wrong do that, sonny. You know, we're out of touch with, with, with society, nah. We've walked a path, we've done things, we've experienced things, we know the game a little bit. You know, humans don't change that much over time, it's, it's all the same crap. The, the clothes may change, the music may change, the cars may change, right? But but humanity pretty much is the same, right? They, they've not changed that much for thousands of years, right? So we sitting here, we telling you these things, people always be telling these things, you're younger. You might want to just take a moment to listen. You don't necessarily got to do what we're talking about, but like just listen, hear it, and maybe somehow these words can somehow have you avoiding pitfalls and mistakes that we encountered in our life, right? I, I, I talk to a lot of older people. We're talking 50, 60, 70, 80, year old, 90, I'm 47. When I talk to these people, I'm listening, I'm hearing, I'm like, bro, what lessons, what knowledge can you tell me? And I'm listening, and I'm open, and I'm trying to learn from their knowledge, wisdom, and mistakes, right? So yeah, so if you're younger than me, yeah, listen up here. Because in the show, you saw what happened to the daughter who just didn't really pay attention to the uh, the wisdom and guidance from the parents. And, and, and unfortunately, it was some things happened that 
bee wouldn't want to happen. Right? But sometimes the bee's like that, so we're trying to avoid that. So yeah, that's the lesson too. And also, other lesson, don't take drinks from strangers that are open. Don't take pills from strangers. Or just, just be very cautious when you're strangers trying to give you all this stuff. Because they might be trying to take advantage, bro. Just be safe. So anyways, great show, awesome show, very cool. I love the world of espionage. This one has a lot of lessons in it of what to do when you're out of war, just what to avoid, how to move, how to act. Very beautiful. And also I did see on the internet that this is like the number four show um, streaming, I think this week or last week, which is phenomenal. Paramount's got two shows on there this week. Both of what I'm watching, Star Trek's on that list too, and so is uh, Linus. Both shows are talking about on the, on the podcast. And I didn't start talking about because they were popular. I just talked about them because I like like it. You know I love Star Trek. I'm going to talk about Star Trek whether in the top 10 or not. I love espionage. I'm going to talk about whether it's in the top 10 or not. It just so happens that people are starting to align and understand what the captain likes, the mainstream starting to like. Because they're in the top 10, baby. We're doing it. Yeah, so it's all awesome. Espionage, Star Trek. It's all lovely. So anyways, thanks for listening. I appreciate God's gratitude. And until next time, we'll see. Respect yourself enough to walk away from anything that no longer serves you, grows you, or makes you happy. Robert 2. Until next time, it's Captain Peace. The Captain, the Captain Talks, Talks Flicks. Flicks.